band together in the spirit of saving our environment. Join us, myself, Amaz, and my friends, Charlie, Laura, Ringo, Tango, and Taco Taco. How can we take care of our environment? Respect nature. Yeah, care about it. Protect its many treasures. Share it with everyone in the world. And enjoy its beauty. <laughs> huh? What are those strange sounds? It might be the person I'm trying to contact. Let's see. Now let's see what's going on here. It's gone crazy. These strange sounds always come up. Could it be a parasite that has no meaning at all? But no, these sounds must have a meaning. I must speak and try to get in contact. Great, but what shall I do? She doesn't understand what I'm trying to tell her. Ah, I'll translate in her language and she'll understand me. Near the planet Tepole Gaguar. This is the planet Folka. Can you hear me? Oh my goodness. I think I can hear something. It's a message from space. This is Laura from Earth. Tell me, who are you? Are you talking to me from outer space? Yes, hello. Yes, I'm Amaz from the planet Folka. Can you hear me? Yes, <laughs> yes, I can hear you. Where are you from? I mean, who are you? My name is Amaz. I'm calling you from the planet Folka. Do you know it? No, I've never heard of it. I'm from Earth and my name is Laura. Hello, Laura. I know Earth. It's three light years away from our planet. So you're an alien. What do you look like? I can't see you. Are you really talking to me from such a far distance? Laura, aren't you tired from using the computer? Why not go and play for a while in the garden? Later, later. Don't worry, Mum, I'm perfectly fine. All right, as you wish, my dear. Uh, well, okay, you said your name's Amaz? Yes. May I visit you, Laura? What? Of course, of course, but how? The distance is extremely far. Don't worry about that. I'll be there in about an hour. See you later. See you? Am I dreaming? No, it's true. I must tell Dad about this. Listen, children, guess what your father and I have decided to do this summer? We're going to Grandmother's house. We'll have a lovely time away from the noisy city and its smoke, and you'll enjoy the life in the country with the animals. <laughs> Dad, I don't think life with sheep and cows will be great. We're not children. I've got work to do on the computer. I'm at the point of discovering a great secret. <laughs> secret, eh? So what's this secret? I'll tell you this great secret. My sister, the genius, believes she's made contact with an alien. Really? And how's that? Tell us more, Laura. Mum, Dad, you won't believe it. Listen, I'm not joking. I made contact via the computer with an alien from outer space just two days ago. <laughs> this must be a high-tech game, isn't that, my dear? <laughs> it seems to me an exciting game. <laughs> I'm bored with this nonsense Laura believes in. I think she's just crazy. Don't talk about your sister that way. It's not polite. He's always making fun of me. I don't want to have a brother like him. Come on now, children. Stop the chatter. What do you think about our idea of visiting Grandmother at the farm? I don't know. I'm going to my room. Me too. Strange. When they were younger, they loved visiting your mother in the countryside. <laughs> it seems our idea of going to the countryside is a loss. We'll have to think of something more adventurous. Really, Laura? What's all that nonsense about aliens? It's not nonsense. I talked to him. He's really real. Laura, you make me laugh. Do you really believe those funny sounds coming from the computer really mean something? Okay, okay. You're making fun and don't believe me, but I'll prove to you that I've made contact with an alien. Listen to these sounds. I think we need someone to translate these weird sounds. Mm-hmm, yes. Come on, let's go outside. Uh, but... Wow, what beautiful lights! But I don't understand! Laura, we must get out of here! How can I run when I'm holding on to you, silly? Hello, little humans! Oh, uh, hello. Are you an alien? <laughs> yes, I'm Amaz from the Ferlaka Galaxy. Is he your baby? No, he's not my baby. Then why are you carrying him? This is Charlie, my coward brother. <laughs> this is the way we humans greet our guests. It's a, a tradition. One would jump into the other's arms, and that's how we greet our alien friends. Quiet, Charlie. I'll deal with your lies later. What a tradition. You humans are very charming indeed. 
This is my spaceship, Zora. She's extremely intelligent. Thank you, Amaz. And what are your names? I'm Laura, and this is my brother, Charlie. What beautiful names. Welcome to our planet. How was your trip? Not bad at all, Laura, but there's something I don't understand. What is it? Your planet is beautiful and filled with water. However, you always complain of not having enough. Hmm? You've got a great ship. Can we try it, please? Well, yes, Charlie, of course you may. Wow, it's so fast! <laughs> Sorry to say, we have to land here for a while to get more power for Zora. We must have traveled a long way. I wonder where we are. This forest looks deserted. Charlie, look out! Oh, oh, oh. That's all we need, a flying cat. Oh, like, excuse me, dude. I didn't expect anyone. Well, who are you and where do you come from? I'm Tango. I'm the forest guardian. I always thought this place was deserted. Come on, let's get back. It seems this trip will only cause us problems. Now, now, now. Relax, little Charlie. There's no need to get so upset. Why not take a look around before we leave? And how are we going to do that? It'll take us ages to walk around this place. That's true. It's best if we go back. Whoa, are you an alien? Yes, I am. I've come from a very far planet. I hear that you aliens can make anything you want, dude. Is that right? Yes, that is true. Cool. Well, like, make them some jet skis. Boot around the forest. That's a great idea. Hold on. <laughs> Come over here, everyone. Amaz, that's amazing. How did you do it? And what is your name, long-tailed creature? It's Tango. Well, Tango, we aliens can make lots of things, like this. Watch. Ta -la 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 -la, ta -la 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 -la, ta -la -la These are amazing jet scoos, but how do they work? These are power jet scoos, but where do we get the power from? I have an idea. Let's dig here. We might find some fuel to make them work, dude. There's no need for that. We can use the solar system. Look. These flowers blossom. Ah. Well, the jet scoos are ready. Charlie, would you like to try one out? Really? You're telling me this thing can fly? Of course. All you have to do is press the speed button. Okay, let's see. Look, it, it really can fly. Come on, try to go a little faster. Okay, if you say so. Whoa! Oh, oh what's going on? Hey, how do you stop this thing? Watch oh. out, don't press that button. Just press the one on the right. Oh. Oh. Okay, now I stopped it. Now bring it down slowly. Okay, okay, well just put it down. Will you put it down? Ah! Oh, Charlie, are you all right? <laughs> yes, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> sure is a fast jet ski. Oh, but can't it go a little bit slower? Oh, yes, it's possible. But you humans just don't know how to use speed properly. Huh? La, 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 la. Mm, hey. Huh? And this is another jet scoo for Laura. Come on. Amaz, how did you get these jet scoos to fly without fuel? Oh, but I did use fuel through the plants and leaves. But you said it like works through solar energy. Yes, you see, plants and green leaves are filled with solar energy. What? When we plant small trees, we have to give them water to help them grow. But water is not enough. Plants and trees also need sunlight. So what happens if no sunlight can reach them? Then they stop growing. And that means you, like, need sun for plants to grow. That's right. And as they grow, they store sunlight inside them. Come on, let's have a look around this forest. Stop, look, there's a bird lying on the ground. Hey, pelican dude, are you, like, hurt or something? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just hungry. Hungry? That's impossible. The forest is filled with food. You see, I only eat fish, and there are no more fish in the river. Oh, don't worry. Take this. It will help you. That's amazing. I feel so much better. Suddenly, I'm no longer hungry. This is great. Excuse me, I'm the forest guardian, and I need to know what's going on. I really don't know. There used to be so much fish in the river, and then suddenly, there's hardly any left. Well, dude, I've got a split now. I have to know what's going on at the river. Please, we must do something. We'll go with you. As you wish. Come on, the river's this way. We'll be there real soon. That's strange. How come all these fish have died? I've known this river a long time, and I've never seen a dead fish in it before. Hey, Ringo. What's going on around here lately? Do you know? I don't know. 
was just passing by when I saw these fish lying dead on the riverbank. I haven't a clue as to what's happened to the river. Those poor fish. What made them die like this? Maybe they died from hunger. No way, dude. Fish don't die from hunger. They can always find something to eat. There must be something in the river that did this to them. Is that possible, Amaz? Yes, maybe somebody put some poisoning chemical in the river. I don't believe it. Who would do such a thing? It also happened to the planet Gopher and left it bare from any living thing. Planet Gopher? It's a planet far away from here that used to have life in it. Tell us, what happened to planet Gopher? How about if I take you there now and tell you its story? What? Uh, don't be alarmed by anything this alien says. He can really help us. It looks like a good idea. Let's go. What? Are you crazy? Once we get back from this trip, we'll be so old we'll have to use walking sticks to move. We'll go at full speed, and it won't take us more than a few minutes. Come on, Charlie. Stop being such a coward. I prefer to stay here and find out what happened to the fish. Uh, I'm gonna go with you guys. Okay, Tango, wait here. Zora, we're going on a trip. Where to? The planet Gopha. Oh, it's so depressing. I know, Zora, but our friends Laura, Charlie, and Ringo wish to visit it. Well, since we're going into space, why not visit a nicer planet? Oh, Charlie, my little friend, the Earth is the most beautiful planet of all, but you humans just don't take care of it. I know. What Amaz is trying to show us is that if we don't look after the Earth, then it might end up like the deserted Gopher planet. That is correct. Come on! We'll go at full speed. Hold on! We're here. Let's go down. Wow, this is amazing. As we get closer, you'll find it more amazing. Why is that? You'll soon know. This place is scary. Gophian people used to live here. Was it filled with trees and rivers and animals? That's what they say. It used to be like the Earth, filled with life. What happened to make it so deserted and ugly like this? You see, the Gophians here did not take good care of the planet. What do you mean? They used to cut the trees, kill the animals, and poison the rivers and seas with poisonous chemicals. Just like we're doing right now on Earth. Does that mean that the Earth might look like this one day? It's scary. We have to do something to save the Earth from looking like the planet Gopha. Whoa! What's this? Ah. This is the only living creature left on this planet. But don't worry, he won't hurt anyone. But what does he eat? It doesn't look like there's any food around. Oh, he eats anything around. Sand, rocks, anything. <laughs> Can I touch him? No, Charlie, no! His skin is poisonous. Stay away from him. Listen. I'm willing to help you save the Earth from such a tragedy. Let's go back and try to find the reason for the dead fish by the river. 